All right, guys, now we're going to do a Mega Mega Man unboxing. I had quite a bit of Mega Man stuff. We're going to unbox all of it. Uh, they should tell you in the title what all came in. So let's go ahead and get this box open and open the box that came inside. All right. First thing is the Battleship Gate for Battle Network 4 and the Rockman 4.5. Just get the plastic off here. We're going to look at all this stuff first, then we'll unbox them separately. This is all new, and it all came in. Each of these things were I got a really, really good price. Free shipping on all of it, surprisingly, from Japan. You don't normally get that. All right, this came from Japan, so this isn't the Korean version or anything like that. And as far as I can tell, it's all official. All right. Here's the first thing. Showing the Battle Network 4 information on here. Here's a look at the back. Make sure it's in focus. All right. And it says it uses the chips from the Advanced PET, so that's the one that came in in America as well. And since they're not region locked, we should be good. And here is my Slashman Navi set. I didn't actually bring down my Link PET. I'll do an installation video. And a booster pack for, I don't think this is actually a standard booster pack. This is more of a just chip edition pack for the Progress PET. And, oh, I thought we were in a little bit bigger than this. This is the Wave Battle Starter. This does not actually include the scanner itself. No, it does not, this is just cards. Oh, hmm. I was expecting it to come with this thing right here, but it looks like it's just going to be cards. That's disappointing. And I believe that's it. Yep. So that just means there's one more thing for me to buy. This thing right here, so we can actually use these cards. Uh, I guess it probably says scanner not included. I just didn't see that. Oh, well. It would still be cool to have the cards. All right, so it's going in reverse order. Least exciting first. Let's go see the cards. Open this up. As you can see, it's completely flat. Let's get a good look at it real quick. Shooting Star Rockman, a.k.a. Mega Man Star Force. So these cards are going to be completely useless to me because even the scanner, the scanner itself can do things, but the cards are completely useless on the American versions of the game. Here, is this a poster? That's pretty cool. Oh, wow, this is... Looks like a game board of some kind. Wow, this is actually for a physical card game? Interesting, I did not know they had a card game for Star Force. Let's put this down so you can get a good look at it. Huh, interesting. This isn't going to fold up very well, is it? Alright, so... I believe this was somewhere around $15. But all this stuff came with free shipping. It took about 20 days to get here since I didn't use Expedia shipping, which was like $15 per item or something like that. Yep, it's actually a physical card game. It has... Um, Geo Stellar, the American version, versus Pat. I don't know their Japanese names. Sorry about that. And here are the cards. Comes with quite a few. Wow, it's like a whole deck of cards. There's a barcode on it, so you could actually scan it in. Boom. You got Mega Man, Gemini Thunder. Can't remember this guy's name. Swan Guy, Gemini Thunder again. Red Missile, I like that chip. I don't remember what that punch is called. I think it's Stun Knuckle, maybe? Uh, wide Sword or Blade, Electric Sword. Guard or Meteor Chip. We have uh, Fire Wheel. I haven't Star Force in a while, so I don't remember these. You can just look through them. Here's the back Wave card that is actually really cool. All right.
HP plus 50, HP plus 120, um, poison panel, doom panel or something, and attack plus 10. All right, put those over here. I'm just going to get a scanner now and see if I can track down a Japanese copy of the game. All right, second least exciting, since this isn't actually installing, will be... Where it opens. This is a kit that will transform your Link PE2 into a different Navi style. My current one's Proto Man. Once I put this on, it will look like this, and it will be Slash Man. So inside, you get... Slashman Navi chip. This lets you save your data, so if your batteries die, you can still have your information saved. You can also use a double soul, I believe. Here is the Navi icon. Is that in focus? Yep. And here are some just general chips that you can use. Again, this is for the Link PET. We have... Hold on, where's my knife? They really package these really well. All right, so it comes with a slash man standard type Navi chip that cannot save data and a wide sword, and that is it. It only comes with these three chips. And then in the very, very back, we have our piece of card stock. It's kind of like a little bit like a business card, maybe a little bit thinner. That will go under the clear thing on your Navi, on your PET. And now for the search man. Progress PET Booster Pack. And open this. I'll just probably have a picture of this installed. They can look at it in the description if you want. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole video on just installing this. So I'll just check the description for that. And here we go. Remember, these chips are not backwards compatible, so they will not work on the advanced PET, American or Japanese. But you can use the... Um, Advanced PET chips on the Progress PET. It's just not, just doesn't, you can, chips aren't backwards compatible. The system is. All right, slide this up. Pull this out. And I just lost the page. Oh, I missed a spot. These are really in there well. Okay. Not snagged on anything. There we go. All right, so the Navi chip we get is, I got the Search Man set. So it comes with the Search Man Navi chip. This might unlock Search Man in 4.5. I'm not sure, I'll find out. And we also get just a few added chips, nothing else in here. All right, ooh, there's a blue thing in here. That might mean it's a mega chip, I believe. All right, they're all individually wrapped, so it's nice if you just want to display them. All right, let's see what we got. We have, I can't remember this is, it's one of the Canon chips from Bound Network 5. Focus on it. The version 2. Bomb Boy. Very nice. Search Man Navi chip. Again, yeah, I believe the green one is probably the special ability one. And we have, I believe that's cross bomb. Can't be sure. And tank cannon two. Tank cannon is probably one of my favorite chips. It's just a, it's like a standard cannon, but it's a whole lot more damage. The first one does like 120, which is pretty nice. All right, now the moment I have been waiting for for quite a while. The battleship gate is style look at like the battleship gate in the show. Uh, mostly used in Battle Network. Oh, no, sorry, no. it's mostly used in, I believe, a little bit in the first series and a little bit more in Access. Um, was it used in Access? I don't remember. I think it was. All right, so here's the unit itself. Let's get you back in focus. All right, looks pretty nice. Let's just take out the entire thing. These packages are really, really tight. And hey, look, instructions. Apparently, it's for boys. All right, we're going to have to probably clear some of this junk out so you can just see the actual items themselves. 
All right. So take a look at the unit assembled and then what it looks like on a Game Boy. So this is the magazine part we can slide chips into. Focus. All right. So this goes like. I put it in wrong. This white yellow part should be in front. There we go. And then we put this on the very top. And boom, Battle Chip Gate. Pretty awesome, in my opinion. This was about $15. Again, with free shipping. Took about 20 days to get here. Maybe a little more than 20 days. But pretty nice for free shipping. All right, here's the back. Pretty bulky. Says Game Boy Advance up there. Made in China. Copyright 2004. Sit in focus. I can't tell. I have the camera at a weird angle. Sorry about that. And then this would eject the chip. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's look at the chip we received. We have a high cannon. Looks a little bit faded for some reason. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. It looks kind of faded. And that's not just the... Is that just how the chips look for this? I don't know. It's kind of weird. And we have Vulcan 2. Spreader. Um, Silence 2. Wide Sword. Guts Punch 2. Boomer. Recovery 50. Attack plus 10. And a special Mega Man Navi chip. Ooh. Alright, let's see if I can slide these in without actually taking out the thing. Yeah, I kind of can. Alright, so that's what it looks like when it's actually in the device itself. You see the window. And once you push one in, you should be able to push them down. Maybe you have to take it off. Or... Yeah, okay, there you go. If we push this up, we push the chip down so we can slide in that. We should be able to slide in another one. The plastic might be causing a problem. All right, we push it down. We can slide in a second one. So you basically can load up, I think, up to five chips, I believe I heard. It's a little bit hard to get them down when they have the plastic still on. So basically what it would be like is like this. You Let's say you were using it. Um, you can look like this. You eject the chip out, and you'd be able. It should push it out more when the plastic's not on. These people pull the chip out. That loads up the next one, and then you're like, let's just say you slot it into your Game Boy or a PT. Boom, like that. But unfortunately, the plastic makes it a little bit too thick. So basically, it would be it's like a chip little vending thing. You have the five chips in there. You go push, pops one out. Push, pops one out. Push pops one out. I will show you more of that in this one's de in this thing's dedicated video. But we're already pretty far into the video, so all right, let's just take a look at everything that came in with no junk in the way. Moving all the boxes. And we got the wave battle cards over here along with the wave battle playing field. We got a whole bunch of battleships for the Progress PET, because these can be used as well. And we got a few for the Link PET, my set, and this. And then this can easily just push these two buttons. Hey, have a look at, oops. Taking a quick look at this again, it actually has a Link port on the side to allow you to link up another Game Boy Advance. So you can actually do multiplayer with this, I believe. And at the top is your slot. I believe this will only accept Battle Network 4 or this style of chips. I don't think it'll accept the ones from Beast. Uh, 4.5, it actually will. It should accept these Navi chips, maybe. We'll find out. Uh, okay. Here's the top of the unit you already saw. You can easily attach it to a GBA SP. No, you can't. Huh, wait. Yeah, you can. There you go. If you're using a GBA SP, it will be upside down. So just keep that in mind. It won't look as cool as if you were to use it on a standard GBA. All right, thanks for sitting around past this kind of long video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.